Hi everyone, it's Evangeline, and today we'll be taking a look at the Kelty Cabana Sun Shelter right here at E Trailer. Now there's all types of different adventures you can go on and the key to having the best time for those adventures is getting the right stuff. So there's different types of shelters. You can have your awnings, your tents, and this is going to sit in the sun shelter category. It's going to be a little bit different. So we'll talk about those different features and what makes it super easy to set up. That way when you're out and about, you can just focus on having a great time. So this is perfect for your quick adventures. Let's say you want to take a quick day trip out to the park, or maybe you want to go to the beach, or you're at a soccer game. This is a very quick and easy shelter to set up, but you also have a bunch of different features to keep you cool and comfortable no matter what the weather is outside. So we have this completely open right now, perfect for if you just want a little bit of shelter from the sun and from the wind, but you still want to be able to see what's outside and have the breeze come in. So our door is completely open, but we also have three mesh windows on our three walls and that's bringing in all that light. So the mesh window is really strong and sturdy, which I like because even if you have things catch on it, it won't quickly fray. It is a very open or wide mesh though. So while it does help with insect control, your smaller bugs like your noceums can still come through. Now, what if you need a little bit of privacy? Let's say you need to change clothes or you just want to get out of the sun. What you can do is you can bring these windows up. So we have these little tabs here. There's two on each window and you can bring it up and now you have a wall. The tabs secure with a loop in order to create that sturdy wall. Now, if you're worried about it getting too hot though, notice how there's still a little bit of flex inside that wall, which means the wind can still come through the mesh and then up through your panel. So if you want full privacy in order to change your clothes real quick, or maybe the wind is really strong kicking up all the sand and you want to keep that out of your base camp, the last step after putting up your three wall panels is to put up the main door. So here we have our little tabs. So we're going to undo those tabs so that we can roll up the door and then connect it on the top. There's going to be four tabs, one and two on the sides and two up top. Now, unless it's a very windy day or the weather is really cool, I do not recommend leaving pets or children or yourself inside the completely closed cabana because it gets hot real quick. It takes about five minutes to set this whole thing up, especially once you've figured out the process. You just need to get the tent poles into their pockets, and then you have these easy clips that go around the tent poles. So this holds everything in place, slightly longer than a true pop-up tent, but a lot quicker than most of your outdoor tents. You have different options for holding this down. Now I have this on parking lot concrete and I also have gear inside so that's holding down my shelter and it's been really good. But you have options here. If you want to, you have included stakes or sandbags. If you have concrete, you can then just clip them with the guy lines included with your kit. Now this is not a true waterproof tent. So if there's a thunderstorm, please tear down your tent and campsite. But what if a quick rain shower comes through? Let's see how well it holds up to water. Sweet. As nicely as the fabric held up to the water, it's definitely not a waterproof tent. And we do have puddles forming where the tent is open in some areas. I would definitely use it in the open position. I do like how I'm out of the sun, but I still can have that breeze flowing through. That does feel nice. Now, if you are using this as a base camp, maybe you have this at your drop-off point, you wanna go kayaking, and you wanna store your items, your gear, where they're out of the sun, they're out of the dirt, out of the sand, you could definitely use this in the closed off position and keep everything safe. So it definitely depends on what type of adventures you're going through. This is definitely a solid choice for those quick day trips. We just wanna hit the beach, you just wanna get out onto the water, and you just wanna go out and have fun. 
Now, if your main need is privacy for changing clothes or even taking a shower, this does not have enough headroom for that. You might be more interested in something like the Kelty dressing room, which will give you that headroom, but it's also quick and easy to set up. There's also the smaller things in life, like the chairs. This is the Kelty low chair, and this fits perfectly inside of our sun shelter. We also have fun items like solar panel lights. You can find them all here at eTrailer. Check out those fun review videos too. And this right here was a look at the Kelty Cabana Sun Shelter here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.